For over a century, voting by mail has been part of United States elections. But in 2020, the era of modern technology, a mailbox like this may be even more key than ever to deciding who will be elected as president. This year, more than three quarters of American voters will be eligible to vote via post. That's a record. But nothing is ever simple when it comes to US elections. And in true style, the rules change depending on where you live. Washington DC and nine states mail ballots directly to voters. Postal voting is the default, you could say. 36 states allow absentee voting for all residents citing the coronavirus. This includes Florida, where President Trump has requested a mail-in ballot despite his complaints against the system. Five states, Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Tennessee and Indiana, require an explained excuse beyond the virus. So what happens next? Let's bring back our post box. Rules vary about whether a ballot has to be received by election day or postmarked by then. Election officials go through a series of validity checks. If a problem is identified, they contact the voter to find out why. About 318,000 were rejected in 2016. Back then, about a quarter of all votes were submitted via post. That's expected to double this year due to COVID-19. And mail-in voters are expected to be overwhelmingly Democrat. This means that if results are tight on election night, we might be waiting days to find out who will be the President of the United States.